Hey, what is up guys? Today I'm going to be doing a little vlog and get ready with me. I'm very nervous as you can tell, but if you're new, subscribe, like this video, comment, check out my other videos. Um, if you're not keeping up with my socials, you are missing out. Everything is linked down below and turn your post notifications. So uh, the last video was, was me about going to an interview, but I had a different, well, I didn't get that cashier job. Um, probably because I didn't have experience. I got an interview the other, like two days ago about uh, working at Domino's and I got hired on the spot and they're pretty nice and stuff like that but I literally have been freaking out for the last two days because yesterday I had orientation class thing about basically the politics of the job and what to expect and most of the slideshow was about like the driving part but technically like they said that like if I got my own car I can do the driving part too if I wanted to because I have a license um, they only do like s around 7 to 10 miles out. Um, they don't do anything like super duper far where I'm working at. So that's cool. Uh, I'm just nervous because I, I can wear skirts. I can wear shorts. And I have to wear like black pants. And I have to wear a belt. I'm over it already. I had to take off my acrylics that I've had for dead ass a week. And they were like literally $200. And because... The manager was like oh we don't do like acrylic nails because they were kind of like they were this long they were like a good size but they were like probably like this long and they were also kind of like lifting a little bit but he was like oh we don't do that like you only do like a quarter of an inch of acrylics or natural nails and that's what he told me and so i was like okay so i'll just take off the acrylics tomorrow and then go from there so I took them off. I was really sad. Like literally even the people that did my nails were like, oh, you're taking off the acrylics. And I was like, yeah. And it's really frustrating because like you can't have like crazy tattoos either. And I only have two tattoos. They said this was acceptable, but they can't have, you can't wear earrings. You can wear, damn. did he say damn? I sound like he said damn. I don't know. He's watches a lot of videos about like cursing. So like, I, I Oh, it changed. Okay, so I was like, did he say, oh shit? I don't even know. Like, half the stuff, it sounds like he's cursing, but I can't tell sometimes. Like, you can't wear earrings, but you can wear a necklace, but it has to be tucked in. I had to take off my bracelet that I always, like, I wore for, like, almost two months, the evil eye bracelet. I had to take that off because they said that it could get into the food. So I couldn't wear a watch. I can't wear anything around my wrists, basically. Um, so, yeah, I tried the hat. And I look like an egg. One of the youngest people there, and there's not a lot of women there. Like the women supervisor, I met her twice. She was super chill. I was like 30 minutes early to my orientation, so I had to wait on people because they were late. Another food handler's card, because I did work with food. Work with food in high school. I don't know if it was junior year or senior year. It was one of those years. I think it was junior year. But I uh as my one of my electives because it was either like cooking or guitar so i was like i'm gonna just suffer the consequences of that because i'm not gonna learn guitar so i'm gonna do cooking so um because i was switching out my electives because i was bored of one so they let me do that and then i did cooking for a semester in high school and i thought it doesn't expire and plus i don't even know where it is so i have to do it all over again and plus it has to be in the state of texas and i did that in california so yeah it was a cool experience but there was a lot of yelling because there was so much clanking sounds and you couldn't hear people um and plus like uh, since i'm left-handed it's very awkward to hold some utensils with the peeler like it was kind of hard because so many things are made for right-handed people and um every time i say that i'm left-handed like people think that i'm like a rare species water i'm doing this part-time so i'm not gonna be there up there like all day this is like training and i don't know how long i'm gonna be up there he didn't tell me how long i'm gonna be up there but i am nervous it's like scary to think about it i still have to give nate a bath um this morning was frustrating because he was like i don't know there was something i don't know something my dad what happened i don't know my mom was telling him not to because he has a spitting thing where he has to spit up 
like spit a lot I, I, I don't know he has he's had this thing for like a month so uh he keeps spitting into his blanket and we're trying to tell him that it's gross and not to do that so he got mad over the fact that we keep telling him not to spit into his blanket and we have to keep washing it because he keeps spitting into it he spits on his clothes he spits into the sink he spits into the toilet but but I do worry about when he goes back to school because obviously like you have to worry about COVID and shit and he does have like a spitting issue. It kind of feels like it's an OCD thing and it's my aunt brought it up to us like a month prior when she started noticing it and she didn't know how to fix it. He swallows his spit like he will start gagging. So he just does not like having so much saliva in his mouth. So I guess he was pissed off about that. They washed his blanket again. Um, a week ago, almost a week ago, I taught him how to wash his clothes. So he remembered that one time that I taught him um, how to do that. Because I've been trying to teach him how to be a little bit more self-sufficient. Because I noticed that he's not, it's not his fault. I'm not blaming him. But I noticed that when he came here, I noticed that he doesn't know how to do a lot of things that are very simple. So um, I was like, I'm going to just start teaching you how to do this. Mom's going to be at work. So I'm going to have all this time with him to teach him all these things. I stayed there for almost two hours because I was kind of like hanging out there. And plus like the orientation part was at a totally different Domino's that was almost 50 minutes away from my house. I don't understand why they didn't do it at the one that I hired was hired at. But they, I had to go to a completely different Domino's. Um, I think that one had like a drive through I don't know. I don't know. Some Domino's have di drive throughs The one that I'm going to doesn't have a drive through so I don't have to worry about that. What I'm going to be working with is making the pizza, cleaning up, and taking the pizzas to the cars. Have, um, you can't have like crazy tattoos. And I asked him like what they meant by crazy tattoos because the manager didn't really elaborate on it because he just said mine was fine and then just kind of kept at that and he said like things with like sex symbols on it or have like naked women on it or something and then he also said like cussing like just those two things they also said that um there was this guy that was like they had a fire in 2017 because he was he fainted on the job like he was delivering to a place and he like crashed into like four parked cars and then the cops came they were like oh he doesn't look like he's on anything so they just were like whatever and let him go he went to the doctor's the hospital and then they checked him for drugs and then because you know i guess yeah they do like a drug test thing i guess and um they said that he had like weed meth and coke in his system all in the same one so they fired him because he had coke and meth in his system and he was obviously like a liability to them because of that reason so that's what he said he seems pretty lenient like i'm trying to just get a feel of people to see how it's gonna go yeah she said hi but i don't know what i'm gonna be eating he ate some strawberries and yeah i already i already know that i'm gonna have to request my own birthday off because that's coming up really fast on tiktok basically it's a protein oat thing i'm gonna make it on camera but you're you're gonna see it i was the first one to be there and the last one to leave because i was just like hanging out and trying to get ask a lot of questions <sighs> trying to see um because i was just stressing out over like the smallest things because this is my first job so like my first outside job you know the good thing is i have experience with being with food around food and cooking food and i've also like have experience with eating dominoes all my life like literally that's been my childhood of eating dominoes like those class parties end of the year parties there's always dominoes and we ate dominoes yesterday so yeah like i literally was like i ate those like i eat really slow normally but like i ate those three pizzas in not even gonna lie two minutes I was that hungry like I did not eat that much yesterday because I was just so nervous he's been like harassing me already and he already thinks I'm gonna be bringing home pizzas he's just like you work at a pizza place because they came with me my dad my mom and Nate had to come with me to the interview because um, I normally watch Nate so um, anyway so yeah like she was they came and he's just like 
you got the job here? Are you gonna be oh yeah! Oh yeah! Are you gonna be bringing oh, pizzas? I'm like, maybe, oh, I mean, goodness. they let you bring the dough sometimes. But he just kept asking me. Yesterday he asked me. The second I got home. Yesterday. It said the manager told me that I can't wear you can't wear rings. But then the other guy told me you can wear rings unless uh, only if you're married. Wouldn't the ring get in the pizza though? Huh? I'm talking to the camera. Huh? I'm talking to the camera. Huh? I'm talking to the camera. Huh? <laughs> hmm. And this is not really hitting the spot like it used to. I had this for three days straight. I know it's hitting the spot, but since I have like anxiety, it just does not taste good. the next day and it may come to a shock but I ended up quitting and before you say anything it's not because I cannot handle it I felt like I could handle it only with the pizza like making the food the other parts of the job I feel like if I had more training and practice I could do that too but a lot of things that went wrong a lot there was very little good things that happened throughout the seven hours that I was there. And I was supposed to be there for part time because I was very stern on being there for part time. So when I first got in there, it was 1130 and my shift started at 12. I got there like 30 minutes early because I did not want to be late. So I was just like, I'm going to go there early. So I ended up just starting my day just at 1130. Um, I met up with this guy. Um, and he said he was gonna be helping me. I thought at first like oh, I was gonna have just like one person my Idea of training. I thought I was just gonna be stuck with one person and they were gonna tell me the ins and outs And I wasn't gonna be working on such a busy day They told me Friday like Saturday ish. It's really really busy and I worked on a Friday and they Caesar who is a manager told me that he wasn't gonna put me on a really busy day because I'm new and He was gonna respect that but I still had my eye open because I was just like, I really don't trust him fully. So I'm just like, let me just hope for the best. And even though I went on a busy day, I was hoping that I wasn't going to be working because I was supposed to be learning and training. But no, nah. no, nah. I literally did not. So their version of training is like literally basically me getting passed around with everyone that was an employee and i was supposed to be learning shit from them i was with the guy for um actually no i'm gonna start with when i first walked in and i like put the code in well i didn't put the code in because i didn't know the code yet but she the lady at the door told me the code so she was just like oh do you carry cash i had my purse and this water bottle and you had to put your name on everything so people don't like take your stuff and i was like no i don't carry cash and she's like, if you carry cash, make sure you put it in your pocket because someone in this area, like the employees, will steal it. And I was like, I thought she was joking, but she sounded very serious. So I was just like, I laughed it off and I was like, okay. Um, I put my water in the fridge and I put my bag in a cabinet. She was like the delivery driver and she also kind of worked inside, but she also acts like, apparently she acts like the boss and she's not the boss. She's just a delivery driver. She's just a regular regular employee and she's a lot older than everyone including the manager she's a lot older and i could tell and yeah at first i thought she was nice but then i was like she's kind of like feisty a little bit he taught me how taught me how to use the computers because they told me he told me the manager told me that like i was supposed to do the computers for the first week um and then i was like okay thinking that i was gonna be kind of like simple but there are so many things that you have to remember like you have to put in your last four digits of your social security code uh to log in and then you know you have to ask them if it's a carry out or delivery so everyone else can know what it is and where they can deliver it at or whatever so uh then there was also like you know putting in their information 
So since there wasn't a lot of calls, and since the first hours of me being there, the girl that I met when I first walked in, she was taking all the calls because I guess she just was doing regular some busy work so she had something to do because like not everyone was doing that like she there wasn't a lot of deliveries there was a, just a lot of carryouts so um she was just doing random stuff around the house uh, around the dominoes just so she had something to do i think honestly personally i think that's what she was doing because like you can't look like you're not doing anything and that's what i learned even though i felt like i looked a little lost the first few hours because like i'm new so obviously i'm gonna look a little lost and i don't know what i'm doing <sighs> so uh there was a lot of buttons i had to learn and um in the first few hours i didn't take calls because people were taking it for me and also i was still learning how to play around with it they said it put did not let it go past two rings i think as many rings as like four rings uh if it goes past two rings the manager caesar gets mad and he only got mad at me everyone else that was with me that i was working with were there for a month two months six months a lot longer than me so like they were kind of just letting it ring and also they weren't really properly teaching me two different people taught me how to do the computer and the second person was a girl that i really liked and she was really 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 nice but she spoke Spanglish, which is Spanish and English, which I don't have a problem with. But I specifically told them that I'm not very good at Spanish. So um, she's very good at explaining. But I thought, because she was the second person I was with after Richard or whatever his name was, left and did his own thing. Uh, the girl was like, okay, come over here. We're going to learn how to do pan pizza twists and uh, bites. So I was like, okay. Um, it's very easy like they're very easy stuff like I felt most confident making the foods because I knew that it wasn't gonna be very stressful you just look at a screen and then there's like this noise that goes off that tells you that somebody made an order and it goes on the screen there's also a time thing but they did not tell me like how like they didn't really explain to me what the time really meant I didn't really understand if it was for delivery or it was for carry out like the time because there's a time next to the order so I didn't really understand that part. I asked a lot of questions and they just kind of gave me half ass answers. So I was just kind of like going with the flow of things and they kind of told me what to do. Um, and I also tried looking at the screen and I also, after you finish an order, you have to clear, like go in this machine. And you also have to push clear items. Taking calls, which was a lot later in the shift. Um, it was a disaster I'm gonna say that um, so the first one was okay the first person called they want to talk to store manager the store manager was really really nice like I think he's like he looked really young I thought he was like 25 but I think he's like 31 so so he thought I was like in high school for some reason and he was super duper uber 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 nice but i could tell that some people got in trouble because of me because from the manager because they were not teaching me properly so he was getting kind of on them about not teaching me properly every time i had the headset and then also 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 they didn't tell me how to prepare for crazy case scenarios because for example i picked up a phone call and the guy was like oh i paid for a pizza and i got a uh, it went through like the payment went through but i did not get a confirmation from you guys and i was like oh okay let me go ask the store manager and see because i don't know what that means and i'm just gonna ask him and that's what i said i kept my composure the whole freaking time because my mom told me like people are gonna be cussing you out which that did happen to me i did get cussed out <sighs> the second or third call because I had to start taking calls because Caesar started noticing that I wasn't taking calls because like I said I didn't know how to take calls and all I was really focusing on was making food and that's really well where I was I was like uh, cutting the pizzas and per putting them in the box and putting garlic oil over it but then I shifted because since I was moving from different people I was just with wherever they were so I stopped being there for a long time 
because I think I was like obviously I was messing up the boxes like I wasn't like horrendous like somebody like a few people taught me how to do the boxes like three people and I only would mess up on like one part which is like folding it inside like a part where you fold it inside the box so that was really like the part this camera's dying okay so back to what i was saying so yeah i was um taking a call and okay the first lady so she was on a time crunch right and i was just reading like what was on the screen because i was just like they basically told me just to go by the screen so that's what i did so um i went by the screen and she said at first she said how much are uh medium pan pizzas and so i had to look up what like on the screen on like on the computer like how much they were and i was having troubles with that because i was kind of like acting like she was about to buy it and so that's how i would kind of see it and so um i was very worried about that and then she's i told her like it was 7.99 so something like that and no 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 like 12.99 or something like that i don't know and then she's like okay so i want like two of those and then one of them with like pepperoni mm, jalapenos and then the other one something 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 and she kept messing it up like she kept like mixing it up and then i kept messing it up and because they she kept kind of like changing her answers on whether she should buy it or if she shouldn't buy it because i did not know what i was really like i was just reading the screen so then we get to the part where she's about to pay and I put in her card information, I put in all that security information, put her name in there, and um, she said, okay, what is the total for now? And I said 25, 21 or 25, 96 or something. And I was like, that's the total right now. But I wasn't really confident in that answer because like, it didn't fully go through because she hasn't paid yet. So, uh, yeah, so, um, I put in the information and I kind of felt confident after that because I was like oh this is getting pretty far and I haven't gotten this far with an order before so this is good right let's that part and still mess up something there and then she was like getting mad at me because she was like I'm on a time crunch and it's taking too long this phone call is taking way too long they did not tell me that I was supposed to basically rush the call and I saw on the, uh, the, the corner how long I was on the phone and it said I was on the phone with her for 18 minutes. I explained to her, I'm new and they did not properly teach me how to do this. So um, I'm just kind of just reading off the screen because that's what I was told to do. And she's like, it's fine, it's fine. But then I felt her ch tone change because she was like, it's take, like she's like, the phone call is taking too long. You're taking too long to take my order. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to take the order. And, um, anyway so i messed up on a thing i brought caesar over because i was getting really frustrated at myself and she was getting frustrated at me because i wasn't understanding because she just wanted the total at that time so um oh no then after i got the t total her card said it had insufficient funds then she said that i might have put it in wrong and i know that i put it in right so i was just like okay whatever you know um i made sure that i like repeated what she said as i was typing it out I brought caesar over who was a manager and then he's like you missed some parts and he said it like that and he's like you just had to click this 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 and then you know that's why it said insufficient funds because you missed something and i was like okay i'm sorry i didn't know that so um i felt like her card wasn't declined i just i didn't i just, just i didn't know what was going on okay i was ignoring calls before i was taking calls because i didn't feel confident in that area because i wasn't taught properly how to like do the phone call etiquette properly and they didn't teach me about the crazy scenarios so um i didn't know what to expect honestly it was very scary so yeah i ended up they ended up fixing up her order and then it was fine and then the third order oh no, no no let's go back to let's let's rewind back to the part where i was ignoring calls because i was too busy making pizzas so as i was making pizzas the phone call kept ringing so then caesar was like hey don't do it past one ring and i was like okay then the call someone someone always ends up picking up before me 
so that's another reason why i wasn't really rushing to go on the phone so the other people also was more experienced than me so i was just like let me just let them handle it because they know how to do it and i don't know what i'm doing and these people are getting frustrated at me because i don't know what i'm doing because they don't teach me how to do it properly <sighs> another warning was uh he was getting mad because i was taking too long to answer the phone and then that was a little while later and then another one caesar was like okay if you keep ignoring calls like that then you're gonna go home yelling at me like he yelled at me like three times over the phone just the phone situation itself and because he wanted me to be on the phone but i was also told that since there wasn't a lot of calls yesterday just to do pizzas as i wait for calls so that's what i was doing i was just being doing what i was told so i don't get in trouble and he yelled at me in front of everyone and it was super duper humiliating i felt like he wasn't accommodating i feel like he wasn't really like understanding about my situation because i told him that it was my first job and you know obviously like i don't know what i'm doing and i'm just doing the best that i could and i felt like you know i prepared a lot of orders of pizza probably like 25 30 pizzas and i did like four or five orders of wings by myself i did like three orders of pasta two orders of brownies uh it, those are the things that i did yesterday and um i just wish she could have saw that instead of nitpicking the things that i was doing wrong because obviously like i think he already thought that i knew how to do it and that's why he was getting kind of frustrated at me and um he also was making comments like he didn't know that i made it but i know the pizzas that i made because like i was doing a lot of them at once so um it was during rest hour i believe and um i put too much cheese on one pizza and i put too much jalapenos on another pizza and um i keep forgetting that you have to pay for extra toppings so i was just kind of like trying to even it out and i know that i probably over cheesed they also kept saying that you don't have to wear weigh the pizza and then sometimes you do have to weigh the pizza like i didn't weigh the pizza 99 percent of the time but with when i was with the first guy in the beginning of the shift i was weighing the pizzas so the first guy also told me while i was with him he said that it won't like he said that you don't have to always wash your hands every like two seconds like i did like i wash my hands a lot when i touch food because one like yesterday i was touching a lot of meat and it was getting under my fingernails and it felt really gross and slimy touching it so i was just like really getting like nauseous just touching it and also also speaking of nausea speaking of nausea i asked about breaks and you don't get breaks and their breaks what they consider breaks are is when no one's ordering and since i was at a busy time and there's constantly people in there i did not get one break like i would walk off after i finished some food and i would get a sip of water take a bathroom break and that was the only breaks that i got but i was drinking so much water because i was getting so hot and it was like getting like to me a lot because i was wearing well, you guys saw what I wore. And they also wore black pants and some shoes, like some sneakers. So I was completely sweating. Like, I felt my forehead sweating. And I was also wearing a mask for the seven hours I was there. I asked about the breaks to the first guy because I was like, is there breaks here? Because I wanted to know if there was breaks. And he said, basically, no. And I can't work in an environment that doesn't have breaks because I was starting to feel very, very delusional towards the fifth hour of me being there and by the way i was there for seven hours and i wasn't supposed to be there for seven hours he didn't tell me how long i was supposed to be there so i was there way past the time i was supposed to be there um so i don't think like now looking at it that they had how long i was supposed to be there yesterday on my schedule I already deleted it because what's the point but they had my schedule all of a sudden to like yesterday morning but i did not see how long i was supposed to be there yesterday so um yeah i was becoming very delusional because i did not have any food in my belly for like seven almost ten hours and uh to me a lot 
I felt my stomach like eating itself. I had like the worst headache and I felt like I was gonna pass out a few times and that mixed with being in a very hot environment was not a good combo for me. I don't know how they do it, but it just wasn't for me because I feel my sh sugar dropping when I don't have food in my stomach the second that I'm hungry. Very, 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 very good for five hours, five hours straight. Then after the five hours, I started losing steam. I started getting really lethargic and I just can't do that for me. Like personally, like I have to eat every few hours before I start feeling like I'm about to faint, to be honest with you. And it's not good to have your sugar dropping throughout the day like that. I don't want diabetes. So I got food, but like I did not have time to stop what I was doing and really just pick it up from like the back and grab it. And also I got a burn. Somehow I got a scrape and a burn yesterday while I was working. I don't even know how it happened because I didn't feel it happening and I don't know how, I really don't know how it happened because I try to not get my fingers near the oven. I just kind of push it in there. And also, also, um, there, the first lady that told me that I was basically going to get robbed, she had made a sandwich and I was putting a pizza in the oven. And then all of a sudden she, like as she was putting it in the oven, like there's like three layers of the oven. There's a top layer that's like a little bit taller than me. And then there's a middle layer, like that's for if there's too much, like there's not room on the top, you put it in the middle one. And then there's also a third layer. That's for like, if you don't have any room for the from the top layer. So that's what they told me by the way. So she was putting the sandwich, which their sandwiches look ass. Like I was like, what the hell is that? Like as he was making it, like as the first guy was making it. And I was like, what is that? And he's like, oh, this is a sandwich. It looks weird. Like I don't even know. So she dropped the sandwich on the floor. And I didn't bump into her. I didn't, I was like an inch away from her putting her stuff away. It's putting my pizza away. And I was like, in my head, I'm like, I hope she doesn't yell at me and think that I did it because I didn't touch her. I didn't bump into her. Like I try to stay out of everyone's way when they were putting in the ovens because like once you drop that shit on the floor, you have to start all the way over. She was mumbling, cussing to herself, and it just looked like she was just like having a really rough time. Getting one of the times I was getting a sip of water, there was like this tall, the only other black person there, and he was always like kind of in the back. And so, um, apparently, he's a delivery driver, and you know, like I said, people do busy work around the store when there's no deliveries. So, um. He saw me get a drink of water and he's like, you don't look like you're from here. Where are you from? And I was like, oh, yada, yada, yada. Y'all already know where I'm from, so I don't have to explain that. And then he's like, oh, I'm from Delaware. And I don't know how he ended up here, to be honest with you. I was kind of zoning him out because I was kind of getting hungry. And his name was also Kevin. And um, he looked like he was like... 50 something years old. Like He didn't look old, but he was also in the older section of you know he was one of the eldest people there so i really liked his vibe because he helped me a lot like throughout the shift he's just like you can't just like stand around and not look like you're doing anything like he knew i was new and he's like but i was kind of standing around in the very beginning because i didn't know what i was supposed to be doing so but around rush hour i would say i would start doing stuff i was starting to do stuff but um, he's like, you have to always look like you're doing something so you don't get in trouble. And he's like, I'm like, okay, like what? He's like, anything, like literally do anything around the store. And so you're just under the radar of these people because they're doing their own thing. And it's just best to stay under the radar away from these people. And he's also he also was like, oh, you know that old lady over there? She acts like she's the boss of everyone. And she is not the boss of everyone. She is not a boss. And I was like, okay. And then, what else was he saying? Oh, he was asking about my dad's job. Because he's like, I'm guessing you came here because of the military. And I was like, technically, 
yeah like in a way yeah like he got a job in job transfer thing and it was under the military so it was that and then now he doesn't have that job anymore so he's just doing grubhub and all that shit and he's like well he's still young he has a lot of time still to think of a career because that job does not pay well and he could do Amazon and I'm like yeah we used to do Amazon when I was still living in California but he has not signed up for uh, the one out here that just happened like just was recently built here so I'm just like I just you know there's no point of you know you know because he's a he, he does his own thing so that you know so I just was not really like stressing out over that but we chatted for a while and then he went off to do his own thing I went off to making more pizzas and he also helped me with the boxes because he's like I know they did not teach you very well how to do this so I'm going to help you how to do this and you know yeah like some backhanded comments and you know like some smart ass comments which I really liked and it kind of reminded me of my grandpa so that's kind of why I kind of like kept close to him because I was just kind of like oh he reminds me of my grandpa but I really liked him and I was like kind of like in tears already that I was like I'm never gonna see him again because obviously I'm not gonna be at that job anymore and I was telling my mom that I was like he's like one of the people that I actually felt like kind of safe with and it sucked because it's just the environment is just so bad and the communication is lacking like you have to have really good communication skills in these type of jobs and everyone is just kind of like do this do that and did you do this to do that all that stuff when the assistant manager came around nighttime, uh, I met up with her and she said her name. Don't remember her name, but all I remember about her is that she said that my name sounded like kimono, which several people told me that. It's kind of annoying though. And she was going to start calling me kimono. And I was like, no, please do not. Like, no. Like, these people were trying to make up all these names for me, by the way. And also, like, the first guy was talking to the Spanglish girl that was, like, around my age. <sighs> the second girl, they were talking about me in Spanish, and I could tell because I'm just like, I use context clues. I don't know how I understand some Spanish, but I think I use a lot of context clues. So I think they think that I don't know it at all, but I understand it to some degree, but I don't understand it fully. So I can tell in some ways that they were talking about me, but it wasn't bad. So it's like, whatever, the one that clocked me out because like I could not find Caesar. And plus I didn't know how long I was supposed to be there. And I kept thinking like, once I started feeling like, oh my God, I feel like I've been here for too long. I started getting kind of anxious because I'm just like, who do I even tell about clocking out, how to learn how to clock out? because in the front where you take your orders you clock in over there and then all the way in the back you have to clock out near the door to leave and so I had to literally ask her because I'm like she doesn't seem threatening let me just ask her and she's like oh um how long have you been here I was like no I said okay I've been working since 11:30, and I was supposed to be gone by now but I wasn't told when to leave, but I'm supposed to be gone by now. And she's like, what? Let me go tell Caesar. Then she wants to go tell Caesar. Then she uh, helped clock me out. And she said, you want to leave now? This is how you clock out. And I was like, okay. And then um, <sighs> it was just, yeah, it was just very hard very 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 hard and then when i called caesar today to tell him that i won't be working there anymore he sounded very upset personally like i feel like if i stay there any longer because my goal was to stay there at least a week see how i felt about it but there was just so much red flags and there's also a lot of cross contamination going on like you are not supposed to be on your phone and even the manager was on his phone and touching the food and your phone is like one of the dirtiest things you can own as a person and they were just everyone was on their phone I saw like people touching the fruit then the meat and so like there's meat juice on the fruit 
you know, like the pineapples and shit. That managers sneeze over where you prepare the dough at, which is like on the side. I had to write a statement about why I was leaving. And I left, I had a, a thorough two page letter about why I was leaving. And I was there for seven hours. And I had a thorough two page thing, statement saying on why this is basically a toxic environment and there's a lot of things that need to be fixed. And I put the manager and he was in the he was in the office doing nothing and I was like oh I brought my stuff. Oh so when am I getting paid for the seven hours because I'm just like I'm not gonna forget that part because I that was not volunteer work that I worked my ass off for sixty dollars. Person like I one of my good like good strengths I would say that I work very well under pressure and I've kind of always noticed this about myself like I work very well under pressure like yeah I was a little bit overwhelmed making all those pizzas during rush hour but I got it through and I did not really mess up and I wish you could have seen that everyone else like all the employees were like you're doing so good Kimana you are new and you're getting this so fast and telling me all these nice things and the manager's just like you got this wrong you can't be ignoring calls or you're gonna go home and I'm just like like you could have pulled me aside and I would have respected you a little bit if you pulled me aside and told me that but yelling at me in front of everyone was very humiliating like it was embarrassing like very embarrassing and this morning something told me to look at the reviews in that exact area where I worked at and it was nothing but bad reviews a lot of them were about the communication skills the training the manager everything that i went through the customers were noticing about it and then they made a lot of like comments about how like they don't seem to care about how to cut the food like there was like a picture that showed that looked like it wasn't even like the pizza was cut and you're supposed to cut it like eight times and the fact that I remember the food stuff and not the, the freaking computer stuff says something. Because I can remember the food stuff very well for some reason. Like that part was not stressful for me. But you saying that like they take too long to pick up. And also like this guy told me like if you don't want it ringing for so long there's a button right here on the clear item machine that you can just silence the the ringing sound if you don't want to keep hearing it is what he told me and i was like what? So, as i was coming home um i got an interview opportunity for another restaurant but i don't think i'm gonna take it and also when first like caesar first came inside like everyone ran to their stations basically and there was just dead silence like nobody was talking to me anymore and the vibe changed it went from fun and you know kind of like tolerable to be in to the second he walked in everyone had their heads down basically which is understandable because like at first i thought he was cool but then i realized like how cold he is and how i feel like he has no I just don't feel like he's accommodating and understanding. After the shift was done, my nose started bleeding. So that was cool. But that was pretty much all. I mean, that's all that I wanted to really mention. That's everything that happened yesterday. And I don't know. I got my real first taste of working and I wish it could have went so much different. You know, I felt like I did not deserve that at all whatsoever and if it went so much differently i could have stayed there i felt a little guilt leaving but i'm just like it's either come home angry and have my mental health at stake every single day for a check for less than a thousand dollars every month or put my put make your priority your mental health and look for something better that I feel more comfortable and more happy at doing.
you know end of the video i hope you enjoyed and i will see you in my next video bye guys